P World, how you doing? This is a true two door freezer. Uh, 2009 model a year with the uh, Dan Foss compressor in it. Of course, they don't have the tag sticking out on this side, but uh, anyways. It's a three-quarter horse, a uh, little, you know, kind of a small frame three-quarter horse. Um, but it's good. Dan Foss uses this power pack thing. Um, and uh, hopefully this is what's wrong with it. Compressor runs for a bit and then it, you know, just stops. So uh, hopefully this will do it. Uh, here's the power pack where it's located. Uh, there's a couple screws right there that you got to take out right there. Uh, let me get this cable out of the way. Yeah, those are two screws. Hopefully it's just for the power pack to undo it and oh I gotta actually get around you to gotta hook up the electrical all the way over here, take that off and uh, hook here and hopefully I had to do this earlier because this plug was melting, you know, it like uh, a couple years back. So but uh, anyways, let's see if it, hopefully it goes well. Alright, thanks bye. I don't know where the part number is, but um anything in here packing slip this is what it is this is the power pack and 115 volt this is it right here for Danfoss compressor like I said I'll put a uh, but this is their late that you have to buy see this thing it's got a module on the back here and connection box and your start relay and start and run cap and all euro euro fancy uh, to the tune of like 268 bucks take her easy guys thanks for watching click like on the video thanks bye <coughs> so guys a hey, uh, so I'm gonna replace this power pack that's true um, but you know what they don't give you a freaking clicks on. They give you this whole pack and everything, and they don't give you a new freaking clicks on. Do you believe that shit? You'd think after they've given you all the new star components, they'd be smart enough to include a new freaking clicks on in the deal. That's just bullshit. All right, thanks for watching, guys. A heads up for you guys there's actually a third screw so when this is this way there's actually a third screw underneath I don't know what they're trying to hold down here with three freaking screws holding this little box but uh, so I'm gonna let you know so you can't just undo the two screws here and pull the box out which would be the white man way of doing it so anyway somebody this was somebody's really wet dream man I'll tell you Okay, later. Uh, click like on the video, hopefully. Thanks. Okay. One box out. So, there's the box. One box out. And let's see if it's the same box. Wish they had some kind of number. Hopefully, they do. Hopefully, this is the only. Why is my damn phone not focusing? Freezer. 
compressor amps. Common. Common wire. Here. Started out like 11 amps. 80 degrees it was inside the box. 8 amps. Right now it's been running for about a minute. So, looking pretty good. So far so good. Okay, world, how you doing? I'm um, working on a ice cream freezer, two-door, uh, T49F. I'm trying to get you some good I-manifold, or rather I-connect. This is I-connect. Um, with one probe inside of a T49F. That's a two-door true freezer. Okay, true freezer for it. 30 degrees here, and we've got 31 here on the probe. We've got one probe inside, it's right there. Testos freezer. Okay, what we got? Uh, it's been running for half an hour. I had to replace. Oops, shit. Mm, what happened to this damn? Oops. Oh man, the screen went huge. Anybody know how to undo that? Holy smokums. Thing went nuclear big. Alrighty, that sucks. Uh, uh, I'm not an Android guy, so I have no effing idea how to bring this thing back into, not into mega huge. All right, let me see if I can, sorry about that guys, but let me figure. Okay, all right, I think we're back to normal. All right, so, uh, 30, 40 degrees, I am gonna take a walk. So, this is, I'm uh, walking right now, there's the freezer. Okay, so the probe, you guys saw it's inside. So let's go see where we lose, um, lose distance, okay? So one probe. Let me switch over. There's the green thing. Let me uh, let's see how far. Let me see if I can swipe this thing. Yeah, I want to go to the probes. Okay, we gotta. There, that's so we can see where we're going. So I'm walking this whole time. Let's see. Where this drops out. Okay. Nope, I think we went yellow. I don't think that's green anymore. We're still connected. Still connected, 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 connected. Like uh, Steve Lav. Nutso. He's a crazy guy. Alrighty. So, definitely a difference when you put the probes in a box compared to open air. Oh, red. Okay. So, we just dropped off, dropped out. So I'm gonna walk back and I'm gonna count paces. Okay. So, wow, what a difference. Um, let's see if it picks it up. So. So I'm walking back. Let me just put this down on the table here. Red. See what I can do here if it. Okay, so. That sucks. Okay. Maybe it'll, maybe that'll help. Oh, huh. Well, maybe I'll go back to my manifold. And, okay. 
here go back to the probes. And we're connected. Wireless probes. See if that helps at all. Oh, maybe a look. Okay, maybe we're just too far away. So we'll work back. One, two, three, five, six. Looks like my Bluetooth went off on the box. That looks like what? Huh. What a pain in the ass. Okay, we're connect I'm connected to the box. Wireless probes. Hmm. I don't know what the wink thing means. Maybe if somebody knows what the wink thing means, tell me what's that. Start. So I've only got one probe going, so. Hmm. Well, that sucks. You know how far back you gotta walk before the thing connects. out there in the outside which sucks um so uh, so that sucks a big wang let's see if the probe's even still on huh. nope the probe turned itself off when it disconnected, that sucks. And now it's back on again. And now my Testo probe turned off too. But I can understand that because I was far away. That turns off after five minutes, so. So now let's see if. So I'm connected to the box. That tells you you're connected. High sampling rate. Let's kick it up a notch. Oh, I think we just connected to something maybe. Yep. Finally got the damn thing connected. So the light's not even green on this. Um, I'm going to turn the... Uh, Okay, so I think, what does the yellow mean? The yellow dot, if you guys know, that mean the battery, oh, it means it's out of range. Wow, 
things in the box. It's just right here. Battery must. I wonder if there's a battery low on that thing. No, it shows. Well, it is kind of low. I haven't put new batteries in, so wireless probes. There's one. So the battery level is not way up there. But, um. Wow. Yeah, it must be dying because it keeps turning off. I bet it's the batteries. All right, great. Well, take two. We'll have to do another take and I'll do it with new batteries in it. All right. Okay, quickie, uh, my manifold or I connect uh, probe video. Um, this is one of the temperature and humidity probes. Uh, just letting you know what kind of batteries it takes. They take triple A batteries. So it's right there. Two triple A batteries. I think also, if you guys know other guys that have these, is this also this is external power so you could actually run them on a little power uh, adapter thingy a little power pack so let me guys you guys know if let me know you guys if you guys are doing that all right or if it works that way all right thanks okay world hey how you doing uh this is just a testo confirming that it reads about the same i always confirm my devices um the amps on the compressor same unit, the T49F. Uh, temp coming down in the freezer. And using the uh, iConnect trending. Um, just checking that out. Trending chart. Coming down to about 24 degrees or something looking like. And we finally got 2 to 4 degrees in the freezer box. And we got our zero. That's what you want for ice cream for scooping temperature. Um, and once you, I got my zero, I let her go. And uh, this is the this is the box. This is what you got to look out for on this T40 T49F. This uh, SC18 CLX.2. That's a Danfoss compressor. Only made that one year, I believe. Um, so that's the odd duck. So that's when you got this weird box. So you look out for that SC18 CLX number, and uh, that'll tell you that you got that Danfoss with the uh, with the uh, crazy uh power pack box all right uh thanks for watching guys and uh, click like on the video if you could subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and uh comment if uh you got some good stuff to say okay thanks take care bye